Hey, Mike Shea from SlyFlourish.com and Twitter.com slash SlyFlourish. I'm headed to Syndicon later today, and I don't know if I'm going to be DMing an adventure or not, but I'm putting together a DM kit, and I thought I'd record a video that talks about the stuff I'm going to have in my DM kit. This is a portable kit that I'm going to be able to throw into a backpack and take with me to the con. Uh, so to start off with, I've already talked about pipe cleaners and their use, but this is a bundle of pipe cleaners, uh, one color, uh, one of each color that I'm going to bring with me. Really handy for area markers and uh, status effects and things like that. I'm bringing my action points, you know, a set of blue chips for action points, my plus one tokens to give to people when they do cool things or they're real short with their turn, and plus two for combo bonuses. Uh, I might not end up using those. The uh, dice, I'm bringing a set of my favorite dice. I like high contrast dice. As a DM, I'm rolling a lot of dice, and I like to really be able to see what number I rolled. It probably speeds up the game a little bit to have dice that you can read and read easily. Uh, hang tags. So I'm going to do another video where I talk about hang tags. Essentially what they are is a 5x8 note card that's been cut into strips. And then the player will put their name on the bottom two edges of the strip like that on both sides. This one is actually a pre-printed one. Uh, but the nice thing about these is you can then hang them right over the DM screen and both you and the player can see who's up and in the initiative order. I have a bunch of generic monster ones too that have a little skeleton on it. And uh, I'm bringing a set of these, but I'm bringing a bunch of blank ones with me to Syndicon because I don't know what, who the players are going to be. So that works out really nicely. I'm bringing out my status effect markers. These are, again, strips of a 5x8 note card that have been cut. Uh, these are all pre-printed with different status effects on them, like ongoing 5 damage or stun or daze or whatever. And the nice thing is when they get stunned or dazed or take ongoing 5, you take the strip and just hang it right over the tag. And that way when it's their turn, you can look and say, hey, take your ongoing 5 damage. Really, really handy. Lightweight, easy to use, cheap. Uh, one thing I learned is make sure to separate them all out. I put a little paper clip around mine. If you mix them all together, it's going to be forever to find the one that you want. So separate them all out and keep them separated. This is a very portable whiteboard. This is, uh, I think it costs two bucks at a dollar store. Uh, I like it because I don't have to throw away a lot of paper and I can just use a dry erase marker for it. Uh, I talked about bottle rings before. I'm bringing a whole bunch of these, a bunch of different colors, depending on the effect. Stack of 3x5 note cards, it's always handy for people to have some extra note cards, and people will often ask for them. Pencils, bring uh, some extra pencils, but make sure you bring pencils that you don't really care about, so that way if a player walks off with one of them, you don't really care. But there are a lot of times people need extra pencils. Wet erase markers, uh, you want to have a good variety of colors so you can make your map pretty interesting. Now I don't know what adventure I'm going to be running, or if I'm even running one. If I did know, I'd use dungeon tiles, because uh, I much prefer dungeon tiles to just drawing out a map. But I don't, so I'm not going to bring all my dungeon tiles, so instead I'm just bringing a Piazzo uh, wet erase or wet and dry erase foot mat. These are great, and I think they're 10 bucks, and they're, they're the best reusable map that I've ever seen, so I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, this is a bag of tokens. Uh, these all came from the D&D starter set, and it's probably the best thing that comes out of the starter set. Since I don't know what adventure I'd be running, uh, I'd, I'd much prefer to use miniatures. But since I don't know what I'm using, uh, I'm using those instead. I grabbed a level one adventure, the Tainted Spiral. This is a short adventure uh, as part of the Chaos Scar. I think it's three encounters and can probably run it about three hours. So just in case I need an adventure, now I have one. Uh, for pregens, I have a stack of level one pregen characters. These cards are great, but they're pr very hard to get a hold of. Uh, these came from a D and D, um, a D and D game day, and I managed to swipe a full set of them. So they're hard to get, but um, you can also just print level one character sheets, uh, pregens. So that's a whole uh, pack of everything that I'm going to be bringing with me to run a game. The nice thing is I can throw that all into these Ziploc bags, throw it in my backpack, and it'll pack really nicely. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.